I mean, I, I think to me the, the biggest takeaway was the inability of Vice President Harris to answer that really important question at the beginning. Are Americans better off than they were four years ago? Um, it was a very, very evasive, clearly scripted answer. But the answer to that, I think, if you polled the American people, is I, I would say 95% would say no, they're much worse off than they were four years ago. President Bob Trump had one of the lowest inflation rates in recent American history. Today we're experiencing the highest. We have a first generation of American kids who can't get into homes. We have the unaffordability at the gas station, at the grocery store. People who are downgrading ingredients to make it through the checkout counter. Elderly people who are cutting up their prescriptions to pay for few, food or fuel. This is happening all over our country. It's the first time in American history that you have a generation of kids who's going to be worse off than their parents. And President, uh, Vice President Harris has had four years to deal with these issues, and they've just gotten worse. And unfortunately, we had moderators who were clearly biased, who were constantly fact-checking Donald Trump. But none of these kind of whoppers that the vice president was, was saying, and none of her failure to really explain that, answer that first question, that very, very critical first question, they simply sat there on the sidelines and right. allowed, uh, allowed that to pass. Uh, I want to get your reaction to, uh, to one of the things that the president talked about uh, when it, in regards to Kamala's flip-flops, where Trump says Kamala is now using the same policies but will flip-flop and become a Marxist. Uh, take a listen. Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever got elected, she'd change it. And it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. But when you look at what she's done to our country, and when you look at these millions and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's, I believe, 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, and I think it's a lot higher than the 21, that's bigger than New York State pouring in. And just look at what they're doing to our country. They're criminals. Many of these people coming in are criminals. And that's bad for our economy, too. You know, you mentioned before, we'll talk about immigration later. Well, bad immigration is the worst thing that can happen to our economy. Let me get your reaction. We've got about 15 seconds here. Do you think Kamala is a, a Marxist, as President Trump has said? Uh, I, I would, I, you know, I, I try not to characterize people. Uh, with labels, but I would say that his central issue here is that she was appointed border czar. That was her number one big responsibility for the administration. And President Trump spent a lot of time talking about it tonight, but I think it's important because it shows that, uh, that when she's given a responsibility, even when she makes a promise to the American people, that uh, we ended up with the worst border policy in American history. Right. And, um, I, you know, I think it is it's an important issue. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, thank you very much for joining us. And by the way, thank you for your uh, speech when you endorsed President Trump. The part about make America healthy again and the warning about chemicals and food. No kidding. You changed my life. I went to the Cali Means podcast, devoured it. Uh, and I think you made a big difference and are poised to make a huge difference with your message, seriously, on the food stuff. Uh, congratulations.